What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's JJ. This highlight video is brought to you by the fine folks down at Naples Rib Company. All of our Millican Athletics coverage is sponsored by Curtis Boyer. And all of our CIF Boys Soccer videos are sponsored by Shoreline United FC. Clear view of more league boys soccer improved quality here on Friday. Three teams hosting second round games. Repeat champions Millican at home to host Citrus Hill from Paris. No, not that one. The Rams went wild and scored a 5-1 win here in the first round, looking to reach the quarterfinals for the first time in a long time, and in their way is the Citrus Hill team that went undefeated in the Mountain Pass League. The first half, in a word, was clunky. Every positive move was quickly canceled, like playing mirror chess or two championship boxers who were both southpaws. Nothing clean, not much offense to speak of for either side in the opening 40 minutes. With fractured play comes fouls, Milliken was whistled seven times in the opening 40 minutes, but the set pieces were handled by Milliken goalkeeper Diego Ramirez, reading it like a book. It's one of two shots on goal in the half. Here comes the second one. It's going to be easy. No joke. These are the only two saves of the game. Ramirez is like, JJ, just go to the second half. Good idea, bud. I concur. At halftime, Milliken coach Jeff Schofield put his team in a 3-5-2 formation and it worked wonders. The Rams were able to take over in the midfield and feed their pacey forwards going forward. The tactical tweak also helped the Millican defense with essentially three center backs. Ivan Cervantes Vega marking Citrus Hill star Jose De La Torre, sophomore doing a bang up job of that. Home side enjoying the lion's share of possession. The Rams are charging here at the hour mark. Sergio Flores, Owen Edwards, both working hard, getting involved. It's Flores plunders and pushes this loose ball right to the end line. Gonna give it the one bounce cross and one touch finish. Aaron De Leon, A.A. Ron, gives his team A.A. lead. Said he saw the keeper and knew where he was going. Man, what a finish. And honestly, what work from Flores. This kid showed so much class today and covering so much ground. Five minutes later, it's Cervantes Vega on the cross into the box. And again, it's lucky 11. He's uh, uh, pretty good. De Leon has a nose for goal, being in the right place at the right time, and that's 21 on the season for number 11. Wow, a brace to be remembered, and it's going to be 2-0. Winner, winner, another playoff win dinner for Milliken here at home, going back to the quarters for the first time since 2015. What a halftime adjustment from Schofield and his coaches as they put the boys in position to succeed, and they did. Going to have to hit the road for these Division I quarterfinals Tuesday at Harvard-Westlake. For all that coverage and everything local sports, you keep it right here at the562.org.